بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان سیریز آف لیکچرز آن سیفٹی وتھ کیمیکلس ٹو ڈے وی ول ٹاک اباؤٹ ایپوکسی ریزمس ایپوکسی ریزمس می بی ان کیورڈ اور کیورڈ وین دے آر ان کیورڈ دے آر لانگ چین پری پولیمرز آف فسکس لکوڈس اینڈ وین دے آر کیورڈ دے آر اسٹرانگ سالڈ پولیمرس دے آر یوزڈ ان مولڈنگ کمپاؤنڈس surface coating adhesives and in the lamination or reinforcement of plastics. Chemically, they contain the epoxy group which has been shown on the right side of this slide. They may be uncured and they may be cured with the help of hardener, catalyst, accelerator, activator or cross-linker. In addition, Diluents, fillers, and pigments are also compositional part of the epoxy resins. These diluents, such as glycidyl ethers containing the epoxy groups, and they take part in curing process, are reactive in nature. They may also contain non-reactive diluents, which are variety of organic solvents. These are generally used to decrease the viscosity of the medium. When we talk about the components of the epoxy resin system, these components are basically uh, the agents which determine the toxicity of the epoxy resin. Curing agents add the most part. They include aliphatic amines, aromatic amines, cycloaliphatic amines, anhydrides, polyamides, and catalytic curing agents. Aliphatic amines, for example, triethyl tetraamine and diethyl triamine, they have a pH of 13 to 14. They are too much caustic in nature. They are volatile and cause severe burns. They are basically respiratory hazards for the workers who are involved in the synthesis or the people who are working with the epoxy resin. Aromatic amines, they are generally solid in nature and are less irritating than the primary amines. However, 4,4-methylene dianalene, which is known as MDA generally, causes hepatitis, elevated ATS, alkaline phosphate, and bilirubin, and they are basically involved in the liver enlargement when people get exposed to them. Amphenylene diamine is a strong irritant and allergic sensitizer. Diamino diphenyl sulfone is a chemical compound which is involved in the tumorogenesis of the experimental animal, animals. So, whenever you are using the epoxy resin with a aromatic amine additive, you should be very careful. Acid anhydrides are eye and skin irritant. They cause burns and inhalation of their high concentration causes significant respiratory tract irritation. Thalic anhydride, tetrachlorothalic anhydride and trimetallic anhydride can induce the asthma. Glycidyl ethers examples have been given in this slides. They are skin sensitizers and they are the irritant for the living tissue. Solvents such as acetone, cellulose, methyl ethyl ketone, ketone methyl isobutyl ketone, uh, dichloromethane, trichloroethane, toluene, xylene, they are skin eye irritants. They disturb the central nervous system and they cause the respiratory disorders as well. Here is the example of the dermatitis which is caused by the epoxy resin. This is very painful and this can occur uh, to any part of the body but most, mostly uh, finger, palms, hands are involved which are involved in the touch. Now how to avoid it? Avoid the skin contact use PVC gloves, maintain good housekeeping, wash hands after work, prohibit, prohibit eating and smoking in the working area, sensitize the workers and they may be removed from the area.
as a rule of thumb when you are working with chemicals you should have material safety data sheets of those chemicals at work place now for epoxy resins you should have the material safety data sheets of all the additives with which the epoxy resin has been formed at the workplace for the sensitization of the worker now no reports until now are available for the carcinogenesis of the human beings caused by epoxy resins however they have potential to cause because some animal studies have shown positive results no threshold limit values permissible exposure limit values short term expo exposure limit values have been established for uh, epoxy resins use the chemicals safely stay tuned for my next lectures on safety with chemicals till then god bless you